Well, tonight we're answering the city of Fort Myers' water shortage. Mayor Kevin Anderson's administration says part of that has to do with two new wells that went online this week. And new since five. Fox Force Colton Chavez is showing you a firsthand look at the new wells. And Colton, you also asked whether any of this will make a difference. That's right, Chris, and that response for the water shortage from the city, you can see just off in the distance behind me. That's one of just the two new wells that went online on Monday. So today I decided to take a deeper look at this solution to see how much of an impact it will really have. This is on right now. We're pumping at about 350 gallons a minute. You're watching just some of the two new wells. Gallons of water, City of Fort Myers Senior Utilities Project Manager Alan J. Gill says. So this is something that we all suffer together and we all benefit together. City leaders feel will help with water pain in a city of more than 83,000. That just keeps growing. So putting in these two wells will add about 500,000 gallons a day each. Gill says that's about the same amount as an Olympic sized swimming pool. While most of the action for the well is done underground, walking around the construction site, I asked if these new wells will help increase the rising concern for better water pressure. As we're able to make more water, then we can up the pressure. That ability to make more water, Gill says, falls short because of older well issues. Some of those wells have been working for a long time and we can do something about it. We can go in there and rehab them, but in order to rehab them, we gotta have other wells online to give us a chance to do it. So these two wells provide that opportunity then for you to go and be able to work on those other wells. That's correct, and we're not, step we're not stopping here. The goal, Gill says, is to have nine more wells online by the end of the year. So the way this whole thing works is the city of Fort Myers takes raw water from this location, eventually passing through tubes just like this to be treated, and then eventually makes its way to Kevin's house. In our previous residence, there was definitely uh, pressure issues here and there. With all the influx of people that are coming in here, it's, uh, I think that's in the last year, it's probably worse than it's ever been. An influx I've talked to Fort Myers Mayor Kevin Anderson about before. He blames water problems on past mayor's bad decisions, but Anderson has said he will fix it. And now with all of this new water, residents who say they've had problems in the past like Kevin think this could be the answer. They're being proactive versus reactive and trying to get ahead of the problem um, you know, as quickly as they can. And quickly being a word that city engineers say they're really trying to stick with. They told me as for these two wells, they actually finished them ahead of schedule. And as you heard me say, they hope to have nine by the end of the year. Live in Fort Myers, Colton Chavez, Fox 4. Colton, getting those questions answered for us. Thank you. Well,